Yo, this Spider-Verse looks amazing. Now, until, uh, if you didn't know, until Far From Home came out, my favorite Spider-Man movie, and I think the best Spider-Man movie was Into the Spider-Verse. And I feel like this one's going to do something. And I noticed that it's, I think, if I'm not mistaken, it's not called Into the Spider-Verse Part 1 anymore. So I'm wondering if they're going to do it where it's like, they're just going to be like, you know what? We're just going to make the sequel and that's going to be Part 3. Uh... The What's Up Danger song, I'm starting to think is his theme song. I'm all about it. And it's so cool because it looks like the stakes are being raised. Miles is trying to balance everything. He's starting to slack a little in school for him. Um, now he's getting like B's and stuff like that. Uh, also, he's not paying attention. Uh, I know my one friend is having an amazing weekend right now with trailers because he loves Blue Beetle the way I love Red Hood. And we talk about Spot and how he's like, Spot is like what is like maybe his favorite Spider-Man villain. He's like that villain is so underutilized. And the fact that they're utilizing him, I'm like, this dude's having a great weekend. Um, I love the fact for me personally that I got to see uh, in here, you'll see it in there, Spider-Man Unlimited. Because I actually like that show. I know a lot of people are like, eh, I actually did like that show. And I thought it was cool because it was kind of like 2099, but kind of not with the nanobot thing. Uh, they were trying to up update it. So th the fact that that character is in there, I think it's pretty freaking awesome. I also love seeing some of the suits. Uh, I can't wait to see because I'm hearing that uh, the Japanese Spider-Man is in there, which a lot of people don't realize is the um, uh, Spider-Man, which is like the first live action Spider-Man. And he had Leo Pardon, which kind of kicked off Power Rangers and Super Sentai pretty much. So... Uh, I'm down for that. I think it's really cool because now you're starting to see some of the spider people have uh, families and apparently whatever it is that Miles is doing, he's, it's like, are, is he going to make the selfish decision or is he going to say the multiverse? And I love the fact that they actually talked about Earth uh, 19999 or he called it 1999999 with the stupid nerd, which is a reference to Far From Home with the multiverse, which also shows that now, that means this thing is connected to the MCU. And I would like to see the uh, live-action Spider-Man actually show up in this movie, all three of them. So, uh, so far, it looks like Gwen is kind of stuck in the middle. This version of Jessica Drew, I know some people were upset because she's black, but I'm like the multiverse. But her look, her clothing look, was that Jessica Drew outfit. I don't know if they changed it, but it was like that updated outfit where she could like open the jacket and it was like a quick way to change her costume. Um, but Jessica doesn't normally, a spider woman doesn't normally have like that kind of webbing. She usually has like the shocking thing and she can like stick to stuff where this one looks like she has like silk style of webbing out of her fingers and she's pregnant, which they did do that pregnancy thing with Jessica Drew. So it's definitely like a alternate universe version of Jessica Drew with the new costume and she was pregnant, but she seems more spider like cause she also had the motorcycle. Um, I like that they did the whole you, 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 uh, kind of thing. Um, that meme is still funny and it looks like he has to go up against the spiders, but Miles has a new lesson where it seems like he has to learn who he is and the type of Spider-Man he wants to be and not what everybody wants him to be. I feel like Spot is going to be a situation where it's going to be like, ah, he keeps messing it up and then like later he finally gets him. Uh, so that's going to be interesting. And I would like to know the stakes. I don't know if it's like he has to save his father, uh, like within the comics, or is it something more, or is he like, I can do everything. So, and it looks like they have an elite spider group, which I'm hoping translates into the comics. Uh, I don't know if this is the Miguel O'Hara or a different version. I'm feeling like it might be a different version, um, not the comic book version. I could be wrong just because of the way he's reacting to things. And also, too, they gave the Miguel O'Hara new costume and stuff. So this is um, looking like another fire one. And Sony needs to follow suit with this when they do their movies for now on for the superheroes like i'm excited i feel like this is going to be something strong something big that's just me um tell me what you think once again i do apologize i don't want to get hit with the copyright thing again so i just do the images uh geek protagonist you stay safe you stay healthy stay real have you seen the trailer it's looking good see ya